It's Mike Saracini from Freedom Middle School. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you this new app that's out there called Apple Classroom. Apple Classroom is a very simple and easy way to kind of help streamline your classroom. I think when a lot of people start using this, the first thing they want to do is they think, oh, I can control every aspect of the student. And I think that's really the wrong way to look at this application. I think it's a great way to streamline your class, to get kids onto apps very quickly, to get them onto certain websites very quickly, um, and in order to be able to help them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you some of the features related to Apple Classroom, show you how simple it is to use. So first thing I want to point out is that the two iPads on the top are student iPads. Mine is on the bottom. If you look at the bottom row of my iPad where my Schoology app is, you'll see all the way to the far left is this icon where it looks like a teacher pointing to a whiteboard. That is Apple Classroom. To launch it, all you do is simply touch on it to open it. And then it's going to bring you to this screen. Now when you're on this screen, I can see the students who are connected and I can see the students who are not connected. If you happen to have any students who are not connected onto Apple Classroom, two things you want to check for. Number one, make sure they're connected online, they're on the Wi-Fi. Number two, make sure that their Bluetooth is turned on. If both of those things are done and you're still seeing your students are not online, I would force close the app by simply double clicking the home button and then swiping the app up and that will force close the app and then if you restart it, you should see everybody online. But you'll notice at the very top, it says Freedom Class 311, so I know what class I have. This is my Excel class, my homeroom class. And then underneath that are options of things that I can do. I can open up a certain app. I can navigate to a certain web page. I can lock all my screens. I can also see the screens. And I haven't really explored group yet, so I'm not really well versed in being able to explain that. But You'll notice underneath the choices of app and navigation and lock that I can see that I have all 28 of my students in my class. Seven of my students are on pages right now. Five students are simply on their home screen. That means their iPad is locked down. I have 10 students on another app. So if I was to open it, <clears throat> I can just simply see the list of students below. And it shows me that their display is just turned off. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just in lock mode. And then I can see that one student has a low battery. Now, one thing you may notice is that there's S numbers associated with each student. We are looking to change that, and we're either looking to have their image there or their student's name, so it would be easy and quick to identify them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to all 28, and I'm going to show you some of the features I've been using a lot in this classroom. Number one, I love the open, um, the open option where I can open up a certain app. So let's say I want my students to all be on, let's say, Schoology. All I have to do is just touch on the icon, which is open, and then I get a list of apps. I scroll down to where it says Schoology. I touch on Schoology, and you can see that right away what happens is that the student screens immediately open to Schoology. It's a really nice feature. Um, after that is Navigate, just to the right of it. This is a great feature, especially if you're going to a website and instead of writing down www.playpostit.com and making sure that the kids don't have spaces in between words and they're spelling things correctly and I can't get on it, it's not letting me. This will save you a lot of time, that transition time that's so critical. I simply go to navigate and then it's going to give me options. I can open up an iBook, I can open up something in iTunes U, or I can open up something in Safari. Now, one thing it does not have in here yet is like a toolbar where I can type in the website. I would like that. Anything you want to open up using Apple Classroom, you have to save it into your favorites. So if I go to my favorites, I can see what I have here are several choices. I can go to Google, and if I touch on Google, you can see that Google opens up. So if there's a website you want your students to open, please make sure you put it into favorites, and that way it would be there, and you can simply open it for them. After that, if I am done teaching a unit and let's say I want my students' attention, um, instead of asking them to please close your iPads and eyes up on me and you have to ask them you know, 45 times, especially if you teach middle school, uh, just simply go to lock and you can see that the iPads lock down right away and then you have your students' attention. If you want to unlock the iPads, 
uh, simply just go right back to this main screen, click Unlock, and then you can see that it opens right back up. Um, if I want to see what all my students are doing, I want to see their screens, I can go to Screens, and then it will show me down below what all my students are doing. As you can see, all my students are at lunch, so they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing, but this is a great way to look for off-task behavior, so you can go and redirect that off-task behavior um, immediately. I can also choose specific students. So if I wanted to, I can choose on a certain iPad. Let's say it's this one. And when it opens, it pops up and it gives me a bunch of actions. I can open up something just for this one student, or I can go ahead and I can navigate for them, open up a certain website just for them. I can lock down that one iPad. Um, I can airplay and I can mirror up onto my smart board what my student is doing, their work. I can also go to view screen and I can view what it is that student's currently doing. As you can see that I can't see anything my student's doing because, well, they're all at lunch. So that is a basic lowdown I have for you when it comes to Apple Classroom. Realize that this is a tool to help streamline your class, to make things move quicker, um, and just to help you. And understand that it's very, very simple to use. It's very quick at responding, and it's been a great app to use. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial.